Hey, it's some little guy coding again, and uh, you know, I wanted to, uh, somebody suggested trying cutting that foam board on both sides. You know, the Dollar Tree foam board. And I'm finally getting around to it here, my apologies on the delay. In Fusion 360 here, I've drawn a pattern. I've got uh, little squares of foam board that are about uh, uh, 3 by 5 inches, uh, somewhat square. And I wanted to have a little pattern to cut. I also wanted to cut past the board with these uh, horizontal and vertical lines so I could easily flip the board over and relocate uh, to line things up. So uh, the actual foam core board will kind of fit inside here on the surface where we're going to be cutting. So I did this with Sketch. I started with a box or a rectangle to point rectangle and I did that and a couple of lines and a couple of circles and then I saved it uh, myhub.autodesk360 and then you find the design that you want to download and uh, mine's all kind of globbed into one project, my first project here. The foam board test right there. So if you click this button you can say uh, DXF which is something that the um, ESTL cam can understand. Uh, you just say OK and it will send you an email with that file attached and you go ahead and download it or a link to that file rather. You download it and you open it up in ESTL cam and that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, I picked centimeters. I don't know why I have to do that but there it is. That works out to be the right size. So let's go ahead and uh, engrave some of these shapes here. We're going to engrave on the line and we're going to use a, uh, I don't know, let's use a five millimeter per second laser cut. And we'll go ahead and uh, that one, and that one, and this one, and that one. And then um, our board will lay on that crosshairs and we'll cut one side and we'll flip it over and be able to line up the burn marks. Being we're working in laser here, we want to check a couple of things. First, once we get the laser in focus, we don't want the system moving it, you know, out of the way. So we want to take this clearance plane and set that to zero. And then um, we're going to take all these cuts and select it like this, select all these cuts. And we're going to uh, set a depth of... Uh, point zero one just absolute minimum so that it doesn't move the laser much on us and uh, let's make sure that on setup we have uh, the basic settings make sure that we have um, got Marlin selected that's not what I want so you can see programs here's what I want to make sure we got G code set for output <coughs> millimeters per minute that's correct in Marlin okay so let's go ahead and save that as a G code file let's go ahead and put that on a, a card a flash card and go downstairs and give that a try all right so it, I'm finally getting around to this uh, where we're going to try to um, cut both sides of a piece of foam board so I've got a couple pieces little pieces of foam board here and I kind of have a little pattern in the wood here that I burned uh, cross hatch with some circles in it so that help me uh, once I cut it on one side I can flip it over and, and kind of line things up for the cut on the back side there. Alright, so there it is. Let's see what happens. We've got a cut on uh, this side and we've got a cut on that side. How close were we? Yeah, pretty close. What happens if I just try to pop it? Hey, there it goes. That's pretty cool. Can I pop these uh, round pieces out here? I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah. They're kind of popping out of there. Look at that. That's not too bad. A little tear over here. A little foam that has to come out. So 
Let's see if we can go ahead and uh, take this piece out here. It's just foam holding it together now. It's going to be easy to pop it that way. And then uh, that's pretty easy to tear out this way. Whether you could get a whole circle in there, I don't know. You probably want to have some radii coming off of uh, um, the part in various spots so you could snap the outside pieces off like that. And then just snap the inside pieces off. So it all depends on uh, good registration. Something I'm not very well practiced at. A little foam on there to clean up. I don't know. What do you think of that? Is it uh, is it beat the uh, is it beat the uh, um, pin cutter? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. But you know, it does uh, kind of pop off very nicely. It doesn't come off very difficult at all. Once that paper is cut, it just wants to kind of snap out of there. So there you have it. Let me know what you think.